Which you guys, today we're taking a look at the Chewy Logbox X Mini PC as an Intel Order Lake N100. Now this is quite an affordable mini PC. It's a $200 mini PC. You can see this one is the 12 gigabyte version with 512 gigabytes SSD in here. No NVMe in this one. It's a real budget one. Does come preloaded with Windows, but you can install Linux on here. No frills in this one. You've got your warranty card and your user manual. You've got your power adapter and the actual Chewy mini PC itself. So we'll take a look at the specs here. Got a ventilation with fan on top here, and we do have the white top cover with bottom uh, in black, but it is made of plastic, as you would expect from this sort of price point. On the front, we do have uh, two USB 3.0 uh, ports on here. We have two of those and one USB uh, C port on there, 3.5 uh, headphone jack on here, and also power button to power the device. Nothing on the sides of this one, as you'd expect at a $200 sort of price point. But on the rear, we'll take a quick look at the rear as well. It's quite a nice looking mini PC. It's for someone really who does want something to surf the web and stream movies. We have their power input here, their DC power input. We have two Ethernet ports, one 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port and one gigabit Ethernet port. Uh, two inputs for display, one HDMI and one DP and two USB 3.2 ports on here as well. So you can have triple monitors on this display. This is your uh, VESA mount here, which will mount to your monitor if you have the support for a VESA mounted device and you can put this on the back. Let's take a quick look inside. You just need to remove these four screws here and then this will give us access to inside the actual panel. So once you get inside here, you might need to just put your screwdriver in here and pop the uh, back plate off. And you can see here, we do have access to the unit. Now, as you can see the SSD up the top, you can put a two terabyte SSD in here. It's not of super fast NVMe speeds on this one, but you do get SSD speeds as you'll see later on in the video. The memory is a uh, surface mounted to the board. It's LP DDR5. So if you're buying a model with this and it is 12 gigabytes RAM, you want to make sure that you get a higher one. If you want say 32 gigabytes of RAM, they do have higher specification RAM models, but you need to make sure because you're not going to be able to upgrade it because they are surface mounted to the board as far as I can see. So if you want more RAM, buy the higher end model. Here is the full specs. So we do have the Intel processor in here, which is the Order Lake N100. This is a quad core processor with a turbo boost of 3.4 gigahertz, six megabytes of cache, also the HD graphics up to 750 megahertz at TDP of six watts. This come with the 12 gigabyte of RAM version. They do other versions as well. If you want those versions, you can purchase those. Storage is 512 on this version, M.2 SSD. So no NVMe drive with super fast speeds, just SSD speeds on this one. You can see we can put multiple displays on here. And we also have uh, the Wi-Fi 6 on this one with Bluetooth 5.2 on this device as well. Let's take a look at the desktop here. You can see once you get to the desktop, it does tell you the uh, speed of the processor here. Installed RAM on this one and available RAM. We also have Windows 11 Home installed on this 22H2, which means we have the latest version here of Windows. Also, we have an activated version of Windows here. There is the storage that you have available when you first get it out the box. So you have quite a bit of storage here. 4K playback is really good on this device. You can see here, hardly any drop frames at all. Once it stops and stabilizes, you get no drop frames. So you can play all that 4K content, whether you've got Plex and stuff like that, it will handle all your 4K content. Let's go ahead and play this 120 Mbps 4K Ultra HD HEVC uh, file here. This is a 10-bit file, and you can see here, it's having no trouble at playing these whatsoever. So I'll quickly skip this to see where it starts instantly. And again, no problem at all with this little mini device. So for $200, you're getting quite a nice little mini PC here for all your needs. Now I'm going to do this really uh, difficult file here. This is a much more uh, harder file to play. Jellyfish 400 Mbps 4K Ultra HD HEVC 10-bit. And you can see it has in no trouble at all playing this particular file. So that is a good sign for people that want to play content the speeds of the drive is not the fastest but you can upgrade it 
to a two terabyte drive in here, just an SSD in this uh, unit, as you would expect at this price point. Geekbench 5 is single core 956 with the multi core hitting 2825. The GPU got 4109. Now, I tried to run Geekbench uh, 6, but it wouldn't run on here, it kept crashing. So I tried 5, and that was the results. Now, you can play like games from the Microsoft Store here, or you can play retro games and things like that. This is not a real hardcore uh, gaming machine, it's meant for light use. You can do uh, surfing the web or you can do uh, you know, 4K playback or things like that. So if you're looking for a cheap, affordable mini PC that can do all of your needs, then something like this is going to be ideal. So if you want something to install Linux onto, you can do, or you can run Plex movies on here. You can do that also with this device. And it's not to say that it won't play games, because it is quite capable of gameplay, but you would have to play these at lower settings and lower resolutions for the higher taxing games. But for games like CSGO, you can play them at 1080p around about 50 to 60 FPS. And same thing for GTA 5, you're getting around about 40 to 50 FPS, give or take. So you can have a little play around with these. Retro games, it can play no problem at all. And uh, if you're playing retro games on here, you should be able to get 60 FPS, no problem, with a three times upscale like you're seeing here. So depending on what you want to buy this mini PC for, whether it be office work, whether it be to play your 4K movies, it can handle all of that stuff. I think Linux will run great on this little device as well. If you're looking for a little Linux box, then this little device is going to be ideal. Now, it's super quiet. It doesn't make a lot of noise. So if you're looking for a mini PC that doesn't break the bank and it's pretty affordable and you're looking for something for maybe your mobile home, camper or something like that, or maybe you want it for your uh, room where you don't have a lot of space, then something like this is pretty cheap and affordable. It does have Wi-Fi 6, and you also have those two Ethernet ports. So if you're looking for a cheap, affordable mini PC at around about £175 to $200, then check this one out. I'll leave the link in the video description. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.